My name is Herman Wengai. I'm from West Papua. I came to Australia as a political refugee in 2006. It's hard to imagine 43 of these men, women and children crammed into an outrigger canoe for five weeks, lost at sea without food or water for the last four days. They survived an incredible journey through treacherous seas, and now a political storm is breaking around them. I don't want to say, just thank you. Indonesia is very uh, angry. Yeah, but for me and my friends, Indonesia angry just for one day. But for West Papuan people, we are suffering for 40 years. Herman Wangai, a well-known independence activist in West Papua, led the exodus. Indonesian intelligence were closing in around Wangai late last year for his activities. He'd already served two and a half years in prison for raising the outlawed West Papuan flag, a serious and often deadly offence in Indonesian West Papua. If Australian government sent me back to West, uh, West Papua, I will die. That's reality. The trouble situation that we left in 2006 hasn't improved. Human rights abuses are still happening in West Papua. So that's why uh, in Australia I have to continue to keep advocating people for freedom and justice. Well, today uh, we've got uh, a busload of West Papuans here and uh, they're arriving late, which is uh, Pacific time, Melanesian time. Most of us, we still struggling with the discipline our own time. Sometimes in Indonesia we call jam kare or rubber time. They originally came on their first Sunday after they came from Christmas Island to a service here in which uh, they all shared. Uh, they sang and uh, wept and of course uh, now they have uh, permanent uh, residency here. Thank you very much. Yeah. First time we arrived in Melbourne, we feel uh, difficult, particularly we are facing the different culture language and also rules. So that's like, yeah, takes time to adjust. Now I'm going to ask them, I think, to come up in a, now and make a song before we have uh, the greeting of peace. So I understand that uh, you guys can sing, is that right? <laughs> Yeah, we, we thank God because we are Christian. First time we arrived here, we got a lot of help from the people from the church. I think without their help, we will be uh, struggling with the life here. State Library here in Melbourne, it's part of the, my, my life, like my personal office. I can sit down here for a whole day, checking email, do some research. I feel free here, but I cannot enjoy life here, knowing what's going on in West Papua. Since the loss of East Timor, thousands more police and military have been deployed in West Papua. In the remote highlands, tribal protests and flag raisings have been met with deadly force. I, I saw with my eyes plenty people die, blood in anywhere place. 
I'm just crying and I'm just pray all of my friend around to the jungle of all of my friend. This young man still fears reprisals against his family in West Papua, but wants to tell of the things he's seen in recent years. Plenty of a lot of army come come to to the our village and we cannot to run and we just hear a gun in anywhere. When first time I go to Australia, the feel of safety, the feel of freedom, that's the most uh, feelings that I, I, I had. But I just feel that I'm not in my homeland. This is the place for me to, to shape my character, to, to prepare myself to do better for my country. For the younger people, their English is, is, is getting better. They have a lot of opportunity in the future as a West Papuan leader. Yes! We don't see any change in West Papua if we're still living under Indonesian government. Our friends, our family member are poisoned, persecuted, intimidated. I sort of uh, be with them to share the feeling of uh, sadness and the feelings of starving or uh, being chased. I don't even know like some of them could be probably still alive or not, I'm not sure. Uh, that's make me feel very guilty there. Yeah, how unfair. I don't want people to call me refugees because I have land, I have resources, I have people I really love. That's why refugees words for me it means a way from my homeland and my people. If tomorrow morning West Papua get independence, I will go back to West Papua, but I won't forget. Life in Australia.